Hey everybody, we we'll make creations here. I'm G, and that's Sherry behind the camera. And today we are going to be showing you the cup fanny pack. What is a cup fanny pack, you may ask? Well, this is what it is. Here's one example. You can use them on any kind of cup. We've got a lobster clasp on here in case you just want to put it on your belt loop or something. These are great for when you go on cruises. You could put your chapstick and your key card in there. Um, peppermint oil if you get a little nauseous on the cruise and you need your little peppermint oil to make you better. Um, they, they actually fit on water bottles. You just go like this, put it on the top of a water bottle and then on the bottom of a water bottle and move them however it's comfortable for you. And you can even put them on these kind of cups. They literally fit on everything. So um, you just might, might have to, you know, stretch them a little further to get them on certain cups, but they literally work on anything. And as you can see, you can make these with a number of different kinds of fabrics, vinyls, uh, lace vinyls, embossed vinyls. Um, on the backs of all of them, I'm using waterproof canvas. And um, so they are very quick, easy, and they don't really take much fabric either. So let's show you how to cut it. So here I've got some lace vinyl. And um, what I'm gonna do is I'm going to put it horizontally here. I'm going to match this up to the quarter inch marking on my board. And then I'm going to cut it at four and a quarter. So um, I'll cut this right here at 18. And I've got this at 22 and a quarter. So that's four and a quarter, right like that. going to hack that off. You can make a couple from these lace vinyl sheets. So that's four and a quarter, right? So now we've got our width. We're gonna do our height here and we're gonna put it at three and 0.75. So three and three quarters is what I'm gonna cut this at. So right here on my board, because the these this board is marked in quarter inch increments, I can easily do 3.75. So I'm gonna put my ruler right here to measure 3.75 and slice that off and without moving it i'll move the bottom part but now i need this top to be one and a quarter so it's already on a quarter so i just move up to my five very easily and that fast this whole project is cut out for the front that's the top you'll need a five inch zipper of course, a little bigger than what you need. Um, five inches gives you a little bit to play with. And with this leftover piece here, I'm gonna make two strips at half of an inch. That's gonna be my tabs uh, to put the, the hair bands in, which I'll talk about in a minute. So we're gonna make these two at a quarter, half, a half an inch like that, and then I want it at two and a half inches. So the cutting for this is really quick. So I'm gonna cut it two and a half inches, straighten that back out and cut that at two and a half inches. So there is everything I'm gonna need for the front of this cup fanny pack. I'm gonna need two hair bands. Um, these are Goody brand. It doesn't really matter what you use. You could use just about anything. We're going to use two or one uh, half inch lobster claw. Okay. And then the back of this is going to be four and a quarter width. Uh, you know, yes, four and a quarter width. And then the height of this is five and a quarter. So four and a quarter by five and a quarter. And that's all you need to make this cute fanny pack. Okay, so I also like to use a stapler to help me with this step right here. So first I'm gonna prepare the uh, 
band tabs, okay? So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put this band, this tab through the band here, and on only one, I'm gonna put this lobster claw through here. Okay, and then what I'm gonna do is just staple it because I'm, this is gonna get cut off this top part. And so instead of running it through my machine and preparing it through the machine, I just do it quickly like this and it makes the production of these so, go so much faster. Um, I've made, oh my gosh, so many of them. You get on a roll with these and they are very quick to make. So um, that's all that you need to prepare that part, okay? Next, we're going to go ahead and start putting our zipper in. Now, one thing I wanna point out is it's very easy to start putting your zipper on the wrong side of this piece. So before you start, just match this up to the, your top piece to make sure that you're going to put the zipper on the correct side. Because if it's like this, obviously it doesn't match up. And believe me, it's easy to do. So I'm gonna start by um, taking my zipper and placing it right side down onto my lace vinyl. And I'm gonna bring it to the machine and I'm gonna sew it at a quarter inch with a 2.4 stitch length just to get it on my piece here. Now, of course you have that zipper pull that can get in your way. So uh, sew it as far as you can until the zipper pull starts to get in your way and then push that zipper pull out of the way and sew the rest of it. If you don't move it, you'll have things that's gonna be crooked, okay? So we've got that. Now, we want to top stitch this, so we're going to bend this over, okay? And we left some room to, to, um, to have this to sew onto first instead of sewing right onto our piece. So we're going to make this at 3.4 for top stitching. If you like to increase your top stitch length even more than that, go right ahead. And we're just going to run our, um, I have a mark here on my foot that um, I like to use as my top stitching uh, to eyeball. So I'm eyeballing my mark here and I'm just going like an eighth of an inch away from that fabric there. Now that part's done, okay. Now we're gonna need to put the other side on, right? So we're gonna match this, we're gonna Pull, pull our zipper pull out of the way. We're gonna match this right across from our previous one. That way we get it on equally. And we're gonna sew this at a quarter of an inch with a 2.4 stitch length. Or whatever your uh, stitch length that you like to regularly sew with. Everyone has their own opinion about that. I like to sew things together with a 2.4 and I like to top stitch with a 3.4. So that's just my preference. I got my zipper pull out of the way there. And now I'm just gonna come through the rest of this. And now we'll top stitch this. Okay, we're gonna fold it over and we're gonna change to a 3.4 stitch length. And we're gonna top stitch this. About an eighth of an inch away. And that's that step. Okay, so now I want to mark the centers of both of these. You can do it ahead of time if you'd like, or you can do it now. So I'm gonna bend this in half and I'm going to just snip this so I can see what the middle is. You can mark it with a pen if you're not comfortable with snipping it. And that was a little large. I usually don't like to snip it that much. So let's see if we'll do better on this one. Real life sewing, y'all. Yep. Oh, and then I drop it in the floor. Hold on one second. Of course, it's gonna go up underneath where I can barely reach it. All right, 
So we're going to go like this and just snip this a little smaller this time. Not enough. Uh, uh, uh. Here, let's snip it. Okay, so there we have it. Okay, so now we've got our middles marked on both of these. Um, but first I want to, before I start attaching those um, connector pieces, I want to even this out. So I like to do it on my cutting mat with a rotary. I don't like to cut scissor, uh, zippers with a scissor. So I'm just, if you need to use a ruler, go ahead. But I just go like this and make it even. And make it even, okay? So now we wanna take, we wanna make sure that the one with the lobster clasp is going at the top, okay? So we're gonna put this right here. We're gonna center this with our mark right here, which I made very large. And um, I'm just gonna tack this in place, okay? So, and my machine is still on a 3.4. I'm just getting that put in, put down. I let it hang over about a quarter of an inch and um, let's do this bottom, the same thing. Here's my little mark. I'm gonna center this where my mark is with about a quarter of an inch hanging off. And the reason why I could use that staple for to hold that together is because it's just gonna get cut off anyway. So we're just gonna tack that down like that. And so she went forward and backward on that. Yeah. Just, I'm just tacking it down, right? So at this point, I wanna make sure that all my things, my lobster class, my zipper pull, and my two bands are centered, okay? This way, when I'm sewing, they're not gonna get in the way. I am gonna be checking it again to make sure nothing moved. Um, and I'm going to get some of my black clips that are great for vinyl things. Okay, so we have our top finished. Now we're gonna take our waterproof canvas and put it right sides together on top of our front here. So we're just gonna line that up. I like to use these black vinyl clips. This way it doesn't uh, puncture or... Um, make an impression. Yes, make an impression on my vinyl and as you can tell because there's so much going on inside here it can poof up but it's okay don't worry about it it's gonna sew just fine right because obviously it's not gonna lay um it's not gonna lay flat okay so now we're ready to sew this whole thing together um, we don't have to worry about leaving an opening to flip it because we're going to flip it right through the zipper or some people call it birthing. I don't like to say that. So, um, so we're going to just slide this right over to our machine. I went back to a 2.4 stitch length and now I'm just going to sew this. I, I did a little back stitch there. Now, when I get to the zipper teeth, I will do a back stitch as well. And also when I get to my tabs, I, I like to backstitch that as well. So I'm gonna just come down here and I'm gonna stop it to where I can go turning it and it'll be a quarter inch. Now, before I go over this little tab, I'm just gonna make sure that my bands are in there and I'm not gonna sew over them. So here we go. We're just gonna quarter inch down through here. When we get to that, uh, tab there we're gonna back stitch it and then just come to the corner um, if your things are really uneven and you're worried about it don't be just follow your foot if you have a quarter inch foot along the edge of your your um, the top piece not the back piece so if it's uneven say if it's like this a little bit just follow the edge of your top piece the top of the bag, the front of the bag, and um, you'll be just fine. 
So right now we're just going to come still a quarter inch down through here. Now I am using a Janome M7 and I'm using the HP foot and the HP plate, which goes through these layers very easily. Um, I'm using a Janome purple needle uh, in case you want to ask. And um, here again, we're at a tab, so I'm just going to make sure that nothing is in my path of sewing. So here we go, down through here. I'm going to back stitch it here and then come through. All right, now we are completely done sewing this thing. How amazing is that? So now what we want to do is we want to trim this up. So now what we're going to do is we're going to cut these corners without uh, snipping our stitches there. We're going to trim this off. Okay, we're going to hit this corner like that. Um, I often will go in and kind of cut away at that zipper. You don't have to do that, but I do it sometimes. Um, it lessens the bulk when you turn it out. I'm gonna snip that off and that. And again, I'm gonna cut that off of my zipper. No one's gonna see all this stuff. So let's throw all this away and let's turn this thing out. So what I like to do, I unzip my zipper and then if I have any threads that for whatever reason are in here uh, that need to be snipped, I'll snip them or I will singe it with a, a lighter, but it doesn't absolutely need that. So what I'm gonna do here is I'm going to start to turn this out. I'm gonna push through this corner here, push this out. I'm first going to do this with my fingers Try to get it, try to get the corners pushed out as best I can. Um, these are not hard to flip out unless you're using a really, really stiff vinyl, but I haven't had any problems um, turning these right sides out. So we are just uh, gonna push as much as we can through the, through the um, corners here. And then I will use a little handy helper to push through the corners a little better. So, I like to do it as much as I can with my nails and then um, go and just refine it with a little helper. So I've got my little handy helper here that's gonna help me push through these corners a little better. Okay, there we go, and this corner here a little better, there we go, this here a little better, and this one will take a little more work because I didn't put it as much out with my fingernail as I did the others, and there you have it. Uh, zip this thing up. And bada boom, bada bing, you have a nice cup fanny pack. Just want to clarify one thing. I realized that I called the, I said the wrong foot. So I am using my HP two foot and my HP plate as my combination for almost anything that has any kind of layers. It's kind of like a walking foot. So if you don't have a Janome and you don't have the use of the HP2 and HP plates, then you should probably use a walking foot um, and you'll get through it just fine. Hope you make a lot of these and please leave comments, share and like it with all your friends and make sure you're subscribed to our channel, please. And um, have a great day. Peace out.